Thailand is 10 kilometers of coast of China and more than 200 kilometers away from Taipei. But the Thailand is still in control of Taiwan. My colleague Siddhant Mishra spoke to Taiwan's Foreign Affairs Minister Joseph Wu about China's growing aggression. Listen in to this big exclusive. Why do you think that uh, military exercises were done on such a large scale? And what is the motive of China behind, behind doing all this? Uh, this is a very good question. And this question allows us to dig deeper into China's uh, motivation. And the way I say this is that China has a global ambition. Mm -hmm. And this is the most important motivation for China to continue to expand. Uh, look at the military exercises. Around Taiwan, it's a, a, a large scale, very large scale. Uh, other than the sea and air exercises around Taiwan, they also fired missiles over Taiwan. Over Taiwan. And they also uh, conducted the uh, cyber attacks. And they also conducted a very large scale disinformation campaign against Taiwan. And if you put all this together, you can see that China has been practice, practicing this for a long time. And that also gives us a preview of what China may do to Taiwan in the future. So this is uh, Taiwan. Uh, but if you look beyond Taiwan, you can also see that China has a global ambition. Uh, East China Sea, South China Sea, uh, China's military activities have been uh, nonstop. Uh, for example, in the East China Sea, uh, the Chinese are sending their Coast Guard ships or their uh, naval vessels uh, to expel the Japanese fishing boats uh, in the disputed area. And they've been doing it almost on a daily basis. And in the South China Sea, now uh, the Chinese are building their tiny little rocks into major military bases in violation of the UNCLOS. And other than that, they also send their naval ships to patrol the whole region. So the Chinese ambition in the South China Sea is also uh, very clear to all of us. Their ambition uh, is far beyond all this region, all these waters uh, around Taiwan. Let, let me just uh, give you some examples of uh, China's ambition in the Indian Ocean. Myanmar has a port called Sikwe, and Cambodia has a port called Riem, and Bangladesh has a port uh, Chittagong, and Pakistan has the port Gwadar, and Sri Lanka has the port uh, Hamandota. Mm -hmm. And all these ports are half owned or almost uh, owned by China or being operated by China or built by China. And all these uh, string of pearls showed the Chinese ambition in the Indian Ocean. And under these kinds of circumstances, Taiwan unfortunately has been put on the spotlight but we need to watch out because China's ambition is global. Where do you see India in all this? Have you spoken to anyone in India? Or has your government spoken to anyone in India? Have you, have you been able to convince them for the cause you are fighting in against the Chinese, uh, uh, Chinese aggression? Because in India also, back in India, in Doklam, in the Leila, the, the area, we, the borders we share with China, there have been a lot of disturbance uh, in last one, one and a half year. So uh, more, I mean, looking at the situation scenario, you know, our situation is same. Even India is also going and in, in, is, is a victim of Chinese aggression. How do you see this and have you contacted anyone back in India? Like, have you spoken to your government? Uh, you know, we have a representative office in uh, New Delhi. Okay. And that is uh, how we uh, have uh, some contacts with uh, Indian friends and our office in, in uh, India has been uh, working very hard in speaking with various people and uh, we try to explain to friends in India uh, about the situation Taiwan is in and through that kind of contact we do know uh, the perspective of India on the uh, cross it crisis and the most important of all we need to reach out to the Indian friends, uh, regular Indian people and your visit to Taiwan happens to be a wonderful channel for us to be able to speak directly to the Indian people.